Uh, Supermom Sherry Papini's disappearance dominated the headlines when she vanished in 2016 and then showed up alive three weeks later. Uh, Sherry claimed she had been kidnapped and tortured by two Hispanic women who planned to traffic her. Uh, but while the world thought Sherry was a victim, behind the scenes, investigators were uncovering that she was not as innocent as she seemed. After years of suspecting she was making up the details of her abduction, investigators had what they needed to confront Sherry. So take a look at this newly released police statement, and then we'll talk about it. You've told us so many truths in this situation. The reason why you can describe the room is because you stayed in the room in the dark for hours, for days on end. The reason why you lost so much weight is because you stopped eating. The reason why you got a rash on your arm is because you cleaned his house. The reason why the brand is because he went to the store, bought the brand new tools and branded you. The reason why your nose was broke is because of a hockey stick. I know all of those things and I know there was no sex. I know all of that because he passed a polygraph test. That said, it's not an abduction. She asked me to come to get her. No. I rented a car. No. I drove up and picked her up. He, he passed the polygraph test, Sherry. <laughs> what do you think about that looking at it now? Yeah. Um, you know, we had, we had a lot of answers before we went into that interview. So um, just incredible that given her all these uh, off road off ramps in order to tell us the truth, she just wasn't gonna do it. I'm outraged by how nice they were being to her. At first, I get it. At some point, I wanted with words for them to throw her up against the wall and say, you're done, honey. We know what's going on. Why do you think she was allowing herself to be interrogated without a lawyer there? Oh, because she's the smartest person in the room. She's the orchestrator of this whole thing. This is all a master plan. This wasn't someone who escaped from her life and then said, my goodness, I need a reentry plan. This was all planned out from the very beginning. So this was part of it. Her speaking to law enforcement was part of her thrill. It's part of her, her high promotion of herself. Now, this was all theater. That tape we just looked at in before we went to the break, she's talking about being chained and tortured and she's recounting that, which be, would be traumatic for anyone. But did you notice when she was drawing it, she was giggling. Play that, just that, just that clip where she's drawing the chain. Okay, sorry, the chain, the chain. So, here's the Let's chain. Let's draw the, can we draw the, pretty stick figure. Let's draw the whole room, you wanna do that? Sure. We'll lay up the whole room. That's in, that's incompatible with what you would expect for someone Correct. recounting a, a traumatic situation. We know now that Keith was buying all this mm -hmm. for a while. Yes. So keep in mind, when investigators told Sherry that they were on to her, this was a moment that Keith, her loyal supporter, learned that his perfect wife had been lying to him this entire time. So look at his body language in this video, and what you're going to see is him physically distancing himself from her. It starts out being two and two, and then pretty soon it becomes three and one. Take a look. I think we need my lawyer. This isn't making any sense. No, it's not making sense, Sherry. The parts that, that don't make sense. That it's James. No, the parts that don't make sense are that you're accusing two females who abducted you when it was James. The part that you were branded, James did it. He told me he no. did it. Who, who would sit there and no, say, no. I branded her, branded Sherry on her right shoulder, but who does that? You told, told us how and showed us the letters that match the brand. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.